Hello everyone, this is Crota giving you a shoutcast in a game between EG the Muslims, EG's the Muslim versus Gosu user here on Cloud Kingdom. My apologies for the previous cast. One, I was casting tired, and two, I've heard of Gosu user and I've seen the name um, G O S W S E R. I just never equated the two as actually being the same player. So my apologies there. Um, I have a lot of critics out there who keep me on my toes as we are now seeing an, a supply depot already being or being placed down and now also an SCV moving out. This is going to be a heart of the swarm game and I am interested to see what the strategy will be. Now, we may see the Muslim try and set up a proxy barracks perhaps somewhere off over here. This would be a very good location as the Marines would already be on a fairly decent high ground and then be able to push in. Now, if he wanted to perhaps be very, very gutsy, he could build it here and then try to lift off and land here. And that would perhaps be one of the biggest, biggest land your barracks in your face proxy two racks that I've ever seen. As we are now going into what is this? A gas. All right. So this may actually be proxy reapers as opposed to proxy marines. This is all going to be off of one barracks and now Gosu user will have to scout this out and figure out what his opponent is going for. You can see that the gas is already in play. Triple SCVs on gas now. Um, getting SCVs into there as quickly as possible. And right now, the Muslim doesn't have very many SCVs on minerals. You can see there's only about six SCVs on minerals here as the barracks will be completed. There you have it now, um, really cutting SCV production in order to get those early reapers. And the early reaper may not be that successful. It does not have bonus damage versus light. So it does not take down zerglings or drones all that quickly. Add in the natural regeneration. And that is always an interesting strategy as we now see Gosu user going for a proxy hatchery. All right, Gosu user says two can play at that game. You can only build up one Reaper at a time. I'm going to be able to build up a whole bunch of Zerglings. And what are you going to do about it? As we see the metabolic boost um, will be researched here in just a moment. One Reaper already out on the field. You can see how quickly it moves. It's going to head up the ramp or quickly scout out that there is nothing here. And then now set up a bunker here at the ramp. What's going to be happening now? The hatchery is about halfway done. You can see the Zerglings are trying to chase around that Reaper. That Reaper, however does have faster movement speed and will be able to just pull back in time, take down all of those Zerglings and then head back up once more. One Reaper in position here. We are going into a Roach Warren and what is that Roach Warren going to do? That Roach Warren going to cause some serious problems as we do have Gosu, or Gosu user off here and he will be able to train up a fair amount of Roaches inside his opponent's base. Now, no sight. Uh, did I actually I went back didn't I all right here we go I'm um, taking a look at the view no indication of what's going on here whatsoever as we now have double reapers inside we the reapers are going to be able to repair and regenerate rather quickly the zerglings um, n the zerglings are going to be popping out in just a moment that queen has to play it very safe cannot go in a one-on-one -on -one, one battle here against these reapers the reaper actually down to 12 hit points is it going to be able to make it away yes it, I guess that is the magic number one queen can in fact take on two reapers as we now see a whole bunch of larvae will be spawning a whole bunch of roaches will be trained there's three roaches here and now some roaches being trained off here what's happening yes it has been scouted out the muslim knows that there is a hatchery inside his base and now he will have to play it very very carefully you can see the um the bunker will be taken down here in just a moment roach already making his move and what is this roach going to do just attempting to take down some of these scvs a second roach will be coming out as well and the roaches are going to be able to take down these scvs with little to no effort at all you can see that there are reapers nearby and the reapers are doing a good job of getting in some shots but the Reapers have to play it very carefully as Gosu users still battling it up and more and more units will be popping out. No D8 charges to stop this hatchery. And 
what will be happening here? SCV is now trying to bring forth the hurt. Is it going to be enough? That front door not yet sealed. You can see roaches are now popping out. Three roaches, more than enough to handle three reapers as we are now transitioning into marines. The roaches now making their way forward. Going to take down and snipe down some mules, some SCVs as well. Harvester count is 15 to 12. A whole bunch of reapers and those reapers are not going to be dealing much damage to these roaches. It's really the SCVs and their sheer numbers as the reapers are only dealing six uh, less than six damage a second the roaches with that natural one armor dealing so much damage there you can see reapers trying to fight back here once more and it looks like a queen is out oh that queen and the roaches are now pushing out together three two more roaches will be joining in from the far side and here we go oh there's a widow mine a widow mine and is the widow mine gonna take down a unit no it does not that's a huge huge move as the roach does take a lot of damage there okay that roach perhaps should back off perhaps even researching burrow here would be a very very strong call you can see that there is one widow mine in position all the units are fighting back and forth the reapers are going at it still what's going to be happening scvs now getting taken down is this last mule going to get taken down as well i believe so and with that there is the gg the muslim losing game one in this series thanks for watching thanks for listening hope you guys enjoyed game one please stay tuned for game two